Hello guys, today we are going to uh, actually study and answer the question of Faris. Uh, what are the stains? Uh, our lesson today is going to be uh, about stains and staining. And first of all, we have to know what a stain is. Uh, a stain is a sensitive aniline compound. That is to say, it, it comes out or drives from uh, tar, a cool tar. Usually, um, it is a salt compound. That means uh, it may be either a base or as an acid, a base or an acid. Uh, the ion uh, of the dye that gives the color is called the chromophore and this is a very important because chromophore itself comes from two words uh, chromo which means color and for uh, which means agent uh, or barrier uh it is important because it it gives the color formation it gives a color and this color makes the contrast uh, in case of methylene blue for example which is an example of uh, the dyes or the uh, uh, stains uh, methylene blue chloride is the dye but the methylene blue ion is the chromophore the chlor ion is not part of the color uh, variation uh, if the chromophore is positively charged that means uh, it it denotes that the stain is a basic stain but if it is a negatively charged that means it drives from an acid um, uh, stain uh, this is about the two and this is a general definition definition and uh, the characteristics of any stain that used in uh, bacteriology to stain uh, the bacteria Uh, we have in in bacteriology we have different types of stains, uh, and and it, it could be used as uh, some sort of classification of stains depending on how uh, much dyes we used in uh, uh, each process, and also how we use this dye. So we can say that we have two types of uh, stains, a simple stain or direct stain and a negative stain. When we say a direct stain, that means the dye or the stain actually colors the bacterial cell. It stain and gives color to the bacterial cell itself. The bacterial cell itself become colored but when it is a negative stain that means the uh, bacterial cell are transparent the bacterial cells are transparent while the background or the field is colored so th this is the main difference between the uh, direct stain that means we apply the stain directly on the uh, bacterial cell. The bacterial cell itself becomes colored, while in negative stains, we apply the stain into the field. The bacterial cell uh, remains um, um, colorless, while the background takes the color of the uh, chromoform or of the stain. Why we use the stains? 
uh, we use simple stains for three uh, uh, main things. First, it determines the uh, cell morphology. So I can see this, some uh, um, structures inside maybe, or the shape or everything like this. It determines uh, the cell size. And, and this is an important thing is to know how it the size look like. Uh, and also it determines the cell arrangement. Uh, it, uh, the cells, are they arranged single? or arranged in um, double cells or two cells or uh, tetrads or in uh, uh, strip like uh, or they are in grape like shape. So it, it tells us how the, the cells are arranged and intact to each other. So those are the three main functions of a simple stain. On the other hand, uh, on the other hand uh, negative stains does not stain the bacteria, as we said, the bacterial cells. It stains only the background. It also, uh, uh, the bacterial cells are appeared uh, transparent. Uh, the uh, uh, cell uh, it also tell us something about the morphology of the cell. Uh, there is no inside details. They ca you cannot see them, but you can see the size also of the cell, uh, um, how they are arranged. Uh, differential stains are used to distinguish kinds, different kinds of bacteria because it, it has four principles and those four principles uh, are important to be used in order to distinguish between uh, the different kinds of bacteria based on color variation. I, it, it has a primary stain, then it has a mordant, which is a catalyst, and then it had a decolorizing agent and then uh, uh, secondary uh, stains uh, or counter stain is also found. So those are uh, together, work together to make a differential stains. Uh, if it, uh, some bacteria may, may take the uh, primary stain uh, color the others may take a secondary stain color. The best example of differential stain is Grime stains or Zin Nelson stains. Those are the best examples of uh, differential stains. Simple stains that we have already have. We have that like safranine or uh, methylene blue. Safranine is a positive stain, so it takes a basic dye, while safranine is a negative stain. Uh, which may uh, have, which will have a positively charged uh, one, uh, and and so the question is why the stains the 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 bacteria got the uh, simple positive stains because the bacterial cell itself is weakly. Uh, negative so negative plus positive makes makes it uh, makes attraction and this is one of the why that basic stains are uh, uh, used uh, thoroughly uh, so if we remove uh, this one using a differential stain remove the positive one like the uh, like what we are doing when we use grime stain, we have a primary stain, uh, which is uh, crystal violet, and crystal violet is a basic stain that gives positive results. And when we uh, use the mordant and then use the decolorizing agent, uh, if it is a negative uh, bacteria, the decolorizing agent will wash out all the positive stain, then the counter stain, which is safranine, comes in. There is no charge in it, and then it stay there 
where it's going to be uh, reddish in color and takes the uh, stains or the uh, color of the uh, counter stain the saffron in. Now, guys, by this we reach our uh, uh, last part of uh, our lesson today. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for listening and wish you a good time.